That's so much fun. It's the best job I've ever had. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you're not starting right now. I mean, you've done a few things. No, I got like 15 years on my <laughs> It's crazy when you look yeah. back and you think about that. So why do you say it? Why, why is it? Um, what is it about it? Uh, having the best bosses in the world does not hurt. Mm. You know, they create such a wonderful family environment. And uh, I've always said that the, the, the top, the top people, the people in charge, they set the bar for how everything's going to go. So when they come to work and they've got incredible energy and enthusiasm about a project, it goes all the way down. Mm -hmm. Everybody, everybody's super excited about the job, the process. Our crew is, they're epic. They're, it's the best crew I've ever worked with. I mean, these guys live, they breathe it. Everyone roots for the success and the cast is, they're, they're impeccable. And yeah. we can play and we really want to break scenes down and find the truth. It's uh, it's it's fun to watch. Uh, what um, since, since we're at the beginning, just give mm -hmm. us give us a setup. What's going on here? What world are we in? Let's see. Uh, we're three episodes in now, so I can tell you what you already know and nothing more. Okay, <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, so post World War II, 1946, we start our world. Agent Carter has lost Captain America, the lover of her life. At this point, he's evidently deceased. She comes back from the war, as do all the men. We're all searching to pick up the pieces, and some of us, uh, Jack Thompson was a war hero, now he's working for the SSR. Daniel Sousa, injured in the war, now he's working for the SSR, and so is she. But being a woman in the workplace, she's seen as, she doesn't get the respect that she deserves. So she's more lunch orders, coffee, these types of things. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't realize what she's capable of. You know, we think, okay, whatever, she was riding Captain America's coattails the entire time, and that's, not the truth. We know that she's a strong woman, at least as an audience we do. Mm -hmm. uh, Howard Stark's inventions go missing, and they are very dangerous. And they've gone to the black market, and they're falling into the wrong hands. So at the SSR, I'm now taking lead on this case to hunt down Howard Stark and find all the inventions. inventions. Meanwhile, Howard Stark has recruited Peggy Carter to protect his name. Agent Thompson, what kind of a guy is he? All business, is he? He's all business. He's a driven man. He's ambitious to the nth degree. He has a very dark past from the war. And because of all of these things, he plays his environment. So if he was in a different environment, he'd behave completely different. Mm. He's one of those men that reads the room and figures out who he needs to be for where he is. Um, one of the fun things, of course, is the recreating of that milieu, you know, the time and the mm -hmm. 40s. It's, it's done so well without, it's not a caricature by all means. No, it doesn't it's, feel like it's forced at all. Right. It's, it's, it's just organic. How did you get to the point? Did you study it or did you not study it? Or I think it's a credit to the writing. Credit to the writing, a credit to Marvel, Disney, ABC, everybody involved. They did an extensive search to find the right people to fit into these molds. The, the scripts are incredible. Every time we read them, we sit there and go, holy ambitious, oh my God, how are we going to shoot this? And yet we're making movies in eight days. That's what we're doing. And the directors, everybody that's coming in, has just helps us to really shape this, 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 this story and this journey that we're on. Now you are kind of on a need-to-know basis there, right? It's not like you know a lot way into the future. Yeah, I mean, we are all on a need to know basis. <laughs> yes. We are sworn to secrecy. Yeah. Where do you expect uh, Thompson to to go? To you know, I don't know. Hmm. I know that as a as a human being, I believe that he's going to have a learning curve, mm -hmm. and I think that that goes for any human, and we will get to witness his. We will get to personally watch his his arc and his uh, realism of how life maybe truly is from what he thinks he can control. Mm -hmm. I think so we're gonna witness some of that and we're gonna witness ups and downs as if, you know, with any flawed character. Sure. 